Friday, March 27th, we want to give you the new numbers now as far as COVID-19 has affected our state here in Oklahoma. 322 positive cases. Unfortunately, we are at eight deaths and 105 hospitalizations, so that number has truly spiked as well. Five new counties have now confirmed cases as well. This means they must participate in the executive order to it's called Safer at Home. That's Governor Stitt's executive order where temporarily businesses must close that are non-essential and anyone over the age of 65 or those with health concerns should stay at home except when medically necessary or to go out and get things like groceries and so forth. Only things that are necessary. Okay, I want to break down the numbers for you now. What we are seeing is that when it comes to deaths in our state, we have six that are men two that are women. Now, Italy was just talking about this a couple of weeks ago, that what they are noticing is that the number of deaths drastically are increased in the category of men over women. So we're not sure. We're still in the preliminary stages, unfortunately, here in Oklahoma, but it's something we'll continue to look at. As far as the most deaths, five of the eight deaths are in the category of ages 65 plus. Let me go back to the counties now. The new counties included are Caddo, Cherokee, Choctaw, Latimer, and Pittsburgh. Now, every day I've been talking about Oklahoma County, Tulsa County, and Cleveland County because that is where we have seen the most positive cases. I'm going to add a few more to the list today as those cases have increased in other counties as well. Canadian County now sits at 11 positive cases, Cleveland County 39, Creek County, where the latest man just passed away, he was in his 70s, 14 positive cases there. K County has 17, Oklahoma County has the most, 94 cases, Pawnee has 14, and Tulsa has 49. Today is Friday, March 27th. We'll continue to bring you the numbers as we get them.